I want to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Yorvikshire? Halfton Ragnarsson, Conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfton Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. of battle. Have a look, Zunin.
battle climbed into the hills. Aid me, be my eyes. Well met, Eivor Ravenfriend. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravid, we met in Jorvik, the Yuletide Feast. The Yuletide Massacre, I remember. What brings you here? Alf Danyal, he summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Circle round! Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. Odin, take you all! and we'll watch your back.
Are you wounded? I'll live, but my men... If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! Life, old friend. Once again. I've done Ragnarsson. We met in the forge of battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donna Caster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? Heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to Jorvikshire, friend. Well met, Faravid. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. Start digging. He's at Dunnercaster, the towering castle by the river. Where would Hafton Jarl hold court?
out with heads that are empty. Would a soul in these lands pay? Hey, you! My eyes and soul do not deceive me. You are the wolf kissed, are you not? Come, come! Greetings, Bard. That face, that scowl. Yes, indeed, you must be the wolf kissed. Oh, your fame and generosity are well known to me. You have a flatterous tongue, Bard. But how do you know me? The deeds of the great are Bard stuck in trade. The brave are wealthy, the wealthy are brave. So it goes. How about it, Eivor the Wanderer? Part with a queen's ransom and live on in immortal song? Silver comes and silver goes, but the fame of the grade endures. Both wise and generous, truly you are history's mightiest champion. Now, hold tight while my muse inspires me. From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the ravens with the sun for eyes, trailing a river of blood enough to paint the skies. Succumb to your fate with a kiss, a blade to your throat, the wolf's fangs to your shins. For the one blessing and the one curse is to meet the wolf kiss. Your kennings are weak. However, you make up for it with your clever tongue. Tis the fate of a bard such as I. We give and we give and we get nothing back. So it goes. Farewell, generous champion. From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the ravens with the sun for us. Enough to paint the husk. <laughs> the way is blocked. Please, Lady Moira. My wife grows ill. I will attend to her soon, I promise. But Halfton needs me now. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Weaker, Halfton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? is the one out there fighting.
rush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow kingdom under my nose? Our people suffer from these brutal winter raids. Here, Dane. Try your look at throwing bones. Fancy? My luck overspills like the ocean's tide. Only fate will keep me from winning. Then come and see. What fate do these dice hold for you? This will do. What is going on here? Your defeat is imminent. Are you even trying? My, my. It has been a while since I met a worthy opponent. Another round. Another time, perhaps. Hann er farinn að stela plógum frá frönkum. 
sá hann Arning þeirra sumar eitt fyrra, segir að þér býr betra en Arnar okkar Arning. You should drink good, honest. You! Fair warning, Joel. My fists have hammered nails and strangled sharks. Still care to brawl? Swift and strong you may be. It's the one most righteous who wins the fight. You should drink good, honest, mate. Not that bit of Frankish wine. <laughs> Well, warrior, but here your legend ends, bound to no name. Rest from ruffling, warrior. You can swing an axe. Can you lift a horn? As Thor swallowed the oceans, I can lift many horns and drain them too. A bold claim! I'll drink to that! Put off half done for too long. Atop the Tower of Stone, he said. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is, is when I say we strike. Halfdan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Vishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Halfdan Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Jorvik. So sing my skulls. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone, but I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the calls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishi's treasury. 
I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts, in spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them half the yard, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Greyjord. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty! Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? A fine piece of work, fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, fill yourself with ale, and meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. King Rishia. Ah, Eivor. We have missed your wit on the Orvik Council. I attend in spirit. Would you lend us your wisdom now, if possible? We are at pains to determine how to deal with the Northern Picts. Meet iron with iron. That is the way. And this feast is how the Danes prepare their blades. We fought well and won. Tomorrow we'll fight again. But we must always make time for celebration. I defer to your expertise. Hacking, hewing, and the like. Enjoy the feast, Counselor. Conquered this, he and I. Together! You have earned great fame. Won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Beyond Ironside, fearless Uber, Eva the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better. But glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor?
Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Fowler. It is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fan of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his trees. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better, even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. 